Well, hello, hello, hello. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use a process called linear regression online. And what this process does is it gives us the equation of a line if I give you two or more points. It's called linear regression. The uh, calculator we're gonna use is this. Go to Google and type out NCTM line of best fit calculator. Line of best fit calculator, NCTM. I'm going to click obviously the first screen. And there it is. Now, let's just say I'm given a problem like this where I ask you to find the line of best fit between these two points right here. I have one negative five and three negative seven. I want to find the equation of a line connecting those points. This is what I do. I go down here to where it says add points and I type in my two points. One, negative five, add point, and three, negative seven, add point. Once you have at least two points typed out, you can click on the show the line of best fit, and it gives you the equation for the line of best fit. In this case, my equation for line of best fit is y equals negative x minus four, as seen right there in the picture. So the equation of a line connecting uh, one negative five and three negative seven is y equals negative x minus four. What if, however, I give you a table of values instead of uh, points? Well, fun fact, if I hit reset, a table of values are points. So what I can do is I can turn these uh, values right here into points, and this is what I'm going to do. I will list those points out at the bottom of the video so that you can see. Okay, if an x value is 2 and a y value is 0, that's the point 2, 0. If an x value is 4 and a y value is 1, that is the uh, point for 1. So I'm going to type those points in. Okay, I'm going to go to my add point, and I'm going to type all of those in. I have 2, 0, add point, a little bit closer. I have 4, 1, add point. I have 6, oops, I have 6, 2, add point, and I have 8, 3, add point. Okay? Now this is where it gets a little iffy and a lot of people are going to have a hard time and not appreciate this. If I click on line of best fit, it doesn't give me a fraction for the slope. Y equals slope X plus Y intercept. My slope really should be a fraction. And it gives me a decimal. Now, we know what 0.5 is. We know what that is as a fraction. Well, what if we don't? How can I use this picture over here to help me find my slope? I know. I'm going to go here and zoom up. By zooming up, I can use the concept of rise over run to find my slope. Remember, slope, yes, is the number in front of x when y is all by itself, but it's also rise over run. So I should be able to go over here and go up 1 over 1, 2. My slope is positive 1 over 2, positive 1 over 2. So instead of saying y equals 0.5x minus 1, I should be saying y equals 1 half x minus 1 because my slope is up 1 over 2. Okay? So that's what you do if you're given a decimal for a slope. 
you zoom in and you find the rise over run that way and convert your decimal into a slope. Okay? It's going to do it. That's how you use the NCTM Lin Reg or Line of Best Fit Calculator to find the equation of a line connecting two points. <gasps> Bye!